you build this on an age domain. That's maybe let's go down this rabbit hole as well. I think a lot of people listening have maybe dabbled in age domains or you know are browsing marketplaces and things like that. It became quite, I guess, trendy and popular over the last few years as people have been building websites on them with various case studies out there. But firstly, where do you find your age domains and what are you looking for in an age domain that basically fits your criteria to build a site on? Yep. Um, so I use a tool called Domcop, D-O-M-C-O-P.com. Uh, it's a paid tool. I've used that since like 2014 or something. There's a couple other tools. The uh, Spamzilla is, I think it's like 29 a month or something like that. Mm. Uh, it's a little cheaper. And I, I don't have a lot of experience with that one. And then there's uh, expireddomains.net. You can do some research on that site. It's not as robust. Um, but typically all the all the good expiring domains with juice are going through GoDaddy. Uh, that's that's where I found almost all the ones I've bought. And and as for what I'm looking for, I mean, the, the most important things to me, and not everyone agrees about this, um, is that the links going to the site, I want them to be niche relevant as much as possible, or the presence of some niche relevant domains, uh, linking domains. Um, and then if the site is ranking for any keywords, um, hmm. that's also very important, uh, cause you know, if it's not ranking for anything, it could just be, it's been, you know, down for a while, or it could be, it got penalized and it'll never rank for anything. Um, so the presence of ranking keywords is definitely a good sign.